Hey there guys, I'm Mike Hyde and this is your Daily Cup of Peace from the Word of God. Today we're going to be diving into 2 Timothy 2.22. And I want to say before we read this, what we want to do is debunk some false thinking we have about peace. Specifically, that peace is some sort of passive thing. Let's take a look. 2 Timothy 2.22. This is the Apostle Paul writing to a young pastor named Timothy. Run from anything that stimulates youthful lust. Instead, pursue righteous living, faithfulness, love, and peace. Now, in our faith, in our walks with Christ, let me ask you something. When is anything ever passive? It's usually not. If, if we want to get to know God more, we have to read our Bible. If we want to build that relationship with him, we have to talk with him in prayer. If we want to grow ourselves in our relationship with God, we need to surround ourselves with other people and make the effort to get together, small groups and Bible studies. Nothing is ever passive. So why should we think that peace is any different? And Paul says it right here, pursue peace. It's in these list of things that we are pursuing. And I'd say that peace will come as a natural result of pursuing these things that Paul talks about here. Let's look at him for a moment. First of all, he says, run from anything that stimulates youthful lust. Lust is a Greek word, epithumia, which basically means a longing and a desire for, and it's used in a negative context here. Basically, that means if there is something, whatever it may be, an object or even a person that is stirring up in you a desire for something that is contrary to what the Word of God wants for you, he's saying run. Whether that's sexual desire, it's a jealousy, it's a desire to be angry and bitter at a person, it's a, you know, it's a desire to have what they have. Whatever it is, Paul is saying your best defense against these temptations is a good pair of running shoes. Instead of putting ourselves in these situations, we are to pursue righteous living. Pursuing of uh, molding and conforming our lives to what the word of God says. That'll bring peace. What else does he say? Well, he says pursue faithfulness. Much like righteous living. It's a faithfulness to what we say we believe in. You know, are we the drunk on Friday night, uh, Sunday morning Christians? You know, are, are we shacking up with people who we are not married to, but yet lifting our hands? You know, uh, there's a disconnect there. And pursuing that kind of faithfulness will bring us peace. And look at that one. Love. Love. What is this? Love for God. Love for others. Jesus said that was the two greatest commandments. And if we're pursuing those, then we will be pursuing peace. Because, ultimately, to pursue God is to pursue peace. God loves you. And I encourage you, by the promised power of the Holy Spirit, pursue peace today. And remember, peace is as a person, and his name is Jesus. Have a great day.